What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Hopefully, everyone's having a good Wednesday. Did it a little minute early. Hopefully, everyone's able to join. We'll give it a second. Today, I wanted to talk about sports equipment. Uh, I did find a nice piece at the thrift store today. So, talk about that. Hear about you guys. If you guys pick up sports equipment, what do you guys look for? Uh, I sold this today. This is brand new with tags. I found it, got it for, I think, five bucks. Five bucks, sold it for 30. Took a best offer today, 30 bucks. So always pick up sports jerseys. I say always. They have to be in uh, sort of good condition. Good condition and uh, good teams. But anyways, or good price, I should say. Usually jerseys that can sell pretty quickly. Darren was first. Nice. How's it going, Alicia? What's up? Scott, Chibs, Sean, Pamela, Thrill the Hunt, Pac-Man. Hey, Linda. Scott, Roll Tide, Bearded Picker, nice to see you. You had that video today. It was awesome. With the, uh, If you guys want to see what the Niagara Falls looks like and uh, watch Scott's video, head over there and watch the video. He had a, he had a good one today. Uh, Mike, what's going on, Michigan girl? Hey, Joey. Oh, yeah, so I got my hair cut. See that? Nice and Nice and tight. Charlotte, what's up? All right, so sports equipment. Uh, I'll talk about some things that I've picked up. I want to hear about what you guys picked up. Sorry, my Poshmark's going bananas. All these people are following me. But anyways, all right, so sporting equipment. Uh, I tend – I see a lot of it at the bins. Uh, Goodwill bins, Goodwill outlet, thrift store, but mainly the bins, right, the outlets. You can get stuff cheaply by the pound. Uh, if you get uh, – I, I see a lot of baseball – uh, baseball helmets, baseball, softball helmets with the cage on them. Uh, look for those. Uh, make sure when you're looking at those helmets, they have all the pads on the inside and they're not crusty and falling apart. Got that fade. Yeah, that's right, John. Hey, what's up? Uh, double check all the paddings in there. And I'm going to show you what I picked up, but uh, it has padding in it. But double check the padding and double check it's not beat up, right? You want you look at it and say, okay, is this something I would wear? Yeah. Uh, hey, Darren. I saved my manager's time. What'd you do, Mike, at Domino's? What happened? We want to hear your story. Uh, but double check the helmets. Helmets, I picked the helmets up, uh, the baseball, softball helmets, hockey helmets you can find, any helmet with a cage on it. Uh, if hockey cages, lacrosse cages, uh, and especially at the outlets. You can get them pretty cheaply. Uh, the big name brands, so look for Easton, uh, any hockey, like Warrior, CCM, uh, what other baseball ones are there? Rawlings. We will the used jerseys sell well in Q4? I'm guessing they will. I ne Charlotte, I never have a problem selling jerseys. Yeah, Scott beat me this weekend in fantasy football. Um, so look for those helmets, and and you can double check comps while you're there. But the reason why I say to look at the bins is because you can get them cheaply, and if you can't sell them, you can always donate them. But uh, hey, Jay. Uh, the the reason I say the bins and you take a chance on the bins just because I say most places have uh, secondhand uh, sporting goods stores. So, for example, in Ohio, we have played again sports. They take equipment. So what I do is I pick them up from the bins and I take them to the uh, played again sports. And you sometimes they say, "What are you looking for?" Other times I'll look them up. But what I recommend is you do some research on your own. Look up the product so you have an idea of what it goes for on the used market or walk around in the store and see what they're selling it for. And depending on the condition, you could say, hey, I see you're selling the same model at 20 bucks. I'm okay with 10. Uh, and the reason I'd be okay with 10 is probably from the bins. I probably got it for a dollar or two. And if you have a, a bunch of them, it'll add up. So uh, the reason... I like picking them up, and everyone leaves them at the bins. They always leave them there, and I always take them, and I always make money on them. So the bins is probably first place, and then uh, you can find – I don't pick up golf clubs. Golf clubs I leave unless someone in the chat or comments me to me later that I should. Uh, let me know about golf clubs. Bearded Picker, how's it going? Bought zero tonight. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you're enjoying your vacation. Hopefully it's going all right up there. 
Uh, Sean sold it. I'm I'm guessing a Chiefs jersey. Nice. Yeah, Blake says a lot of people wear jerseys over sweatshirts when it gets cold. Uh, always, I always pick up jerseys unless it's outrageously priced. I can usually get my jerseys five and below. Hey, Mike. I will always pick up jerseys. Now, if it's like if this said Kansas and the N was missing, I wouldn't pick it up. Don't pick it up unless it's something you wouldn't wear. Or unless it's something you would wear. Or, yeah, wouldn't wear. Don't pick it up. I got my negatives screwed up. Uh, it's funny. He says, because I told <laughs> Yeah, Eric bought 100 designer ties today. Nice. Uh, 61 listings. Nice, Mike. All right, so uh, baseball bats. Baseball bats, are you got to do I, – I get those in the thrift store. If you can get them at the bins, double-check them. But some bats are worth more hassle to ship them than to buy them. Uh, look up the big-name brands. Easton, I know some of them sell all right. I'm um, going to screw the name up, De DeMarini. DeMarini. Uh, I've sold one of those bats for, I think, $45. So look up those bats. Um, bowling bags. Bags do well. Sport bags. And those are a little more hit or miss. you got to actually look them up before you buy them. But that bowling bag I showed you, I sold that for 80 bucks. And, again, a lot of the fallback on this sport stuff is on that Play It Again Sports, the secondhand use store, even locally. If you can put them on Facebook Marketplace – offer up uh and and that's where i think the good thing about sporting goods is there's a lot of people looking for sporting goods so don't be afraid to buy them so i get my bats at the thrift store i pay about three dollars for them so one bat usually if i get the price of 35 45 bucks if i buy a nice one uh upwards to 60 depending on what i get darren thank you for the super chat i appreciate it jay just signed up for poshmark yeah start cross posting it's uh i've sold i think two things so far not a ton but i'm getting up there i'm gonna treat poshmark like ebay once i get above 250 i'll expect something every day all right diesel let's see your diesel's domino story went to sell him a psp and it got busy so i was manning the oven and boxing the pizza for an hour walked with a free large pizza tagged mike the savior nice so you helped out your manager that's awesome I love free food, by the way. I'll pretty much do anything for free food. John says no bats around there. Uh, cleats, shoes, cleats, uh, depending on the condition, soccer cleats. If you find anything Adidas, uh, Copas do well. If you can find the Adidas soccer shoe Copas, uh, I sold those in an hour or two. Uh, Under Armour cleats, basketball shoes, depending on the brand. Again, you might hold on to them for a little bit, but I'm not as versed in the basketball shoes. I still have a pair of Under Armour that I haven't sold. Uh, but definitely soccer cleats do well, at least the ones I've had. I know some people in the chat had said uh, they had some football cleats that sold. Uh, so look for those. And people pick up cleats at Ross. I've never done that. Um, but sorry, that's up in my eye. Cleats. Uh, I'll say what I picked up today. The one sporting item that kind of spurred what I want to talk to, to you guys about. None of my sales today gave me notification. Yeah, that's a great point, Joey. eBay was silent for me. I kept looking down. And I kept seeing either best offer or um, it sold. And I'm like, no, I never got the ding on my phone. Uh, it was, to your point, Joe, is weird. I think I have, I have nine right now, nine for the day. So we're back. We're back to normal. Wednesday was a fluke. Thrill the hunt. Picked up a couple of Adidas shin splints today. Shin guards. Eat them happy meals. Yeah, we got to eat them happy meals. It's coming up. Uh, all right, so I picked this up today. I saw this sitting there, and if you looked up some of these, some of these go. This is a lacrosse helmet. So it's a Major League Lacrosse uh, Cascadia official helmet that you can see right there. Uh, there's Cascadia. There is a little wear right in the back, a couple scratches. But for being a white helmet and being a, a lacrosse helmet, it is in great condition. Now, there's some a couple sellers on there that are selling these for about 80 bucks, and that includes shipping. So, and when I talk about pads as well, double check your chin straps with any if uh, minus your baseball helmets, and if that the they uh, snap in, make sure those work. A lot of helmets on the back here. Sorry, my light's kind of jacking it up, but there are tighteners in here as well as hockey helmets that have them on the side. Double check that these function. So you can see right there. See that. 
And then the last piece is, at least for the ones, some of the ones I've picked up, look inside and make sure that all the padding is there. Sometimes I'll see some where it's ripped out or it's just missing. Uh, but double check everything's in there. And everything I just showed you, take pictures of everything. Uh, I don't think I've seen serial numbers on helmets. But if there are uh, little imperfections in the helmet, make sure you take pictures of them. So if you get the item back, you should see those imperfections back in the item because you don't want someone sending it back, taking the chin strap out, or taking some padding out, or removing this piece. I don't even know if that can be removed. But some of this stuff can be removed. But definitely look at the condition. So I got this for eight dollars, seven ninety nine. Yeah, Cascadia R. You look up some of the R ones. Those go again, go for about eighty bucks. Depending if this, I think this is the wrong one I sold. I found online as a comp, but the solds do well. And just like uh, Mike, I sold one similar for fifty five lacrosse helmet. Yeah. So the bigger the helmet, too, guys. Usually it probably, uh, it's probably worth something, right? The more sturdy it is, the uh, the more padding inside, it most likely gives clues that this might be worth money. Um, so always look them up, even if you're unsure in the store. Don't just, I almost walked by and left it. But yeah, that's awesome. So Mike, good, that's, you sold one already. Oh, this one's nicer. Yeah, my, my, mine's the back. There's a couple scratches. I had to clean it up. There's dirt all over the back. Looks like someone probably stored it maybe like that. Who knows? Uh, if you find them an item that's broken, see if you can buy replacements. Great suggestion, Eric. Just like any item, if you find something that is broken, like let's say the clip was broken off this, right? Say that clip wasn't. I would probably still buy the helmet and buy a chin strap and just replace the chin strap. Uh, was it in our group that someone bought a Kansas City Chiefs helmet? They didn't know and then sold it for like $80. Uh, logos or helmets with the logos do those as well but yeah that was my find of the day we'll see how long this lasts i am posting this up for free ship oh the last thing i want to tell you about was tennis rackets so this gave it away so you can look and i talk about serial numbers uh this is actually on the cage uh it tells you what model number it is it says model r which matches that there but uh tennis rackets those do okay depending on the model and the brand you get but on tennis rackets, check the handle. There's also model numbers and serial numbers on the model of the rackets, some of them. Double check the handle and it'll tell you uh, different specs on that racket. So look at that. Uh, rackets and bats, double check the, the leather strapping around them where, they, where you hold onto them. If there's any imperfections there, make sure you take pictures because a buyer wouldn't be happy if that was uh, pretty damaged on it. Uh, cycling shoes. Eric said he bought a pair of uh, city cycling shoes for three ninety nine. Strap was broken. Bought a strap for eleven. Sold for. Oh, you can sell them for eighty. Yeah, cycling shoes are are pretty good. If you can find the right pair, you can definitely get those for a lot of money. Scott says I had a lacrosse helmet that the snap on the helmet was missing. Replacement kit was ten ten bucks. Oh, now you can fix nine more. Nice. See, that's great too because. Uh, if you get replacement things or replacement tools, you're now you're you're in the money now, right? Because you can use that for other things. Uh, a lot of my electronics, I forget what I was buying. Oh, uh, phone batteries. I was buying phone batteries because I would have to replace my liquidation lots, but it's brand new. So just certain things like that. As you start finding the same type of items, to Scott and Eric's point, maybe you have them on hand, right? It's the same type of item. It's you're going to be able to use it and replace it, but. I like sporting equipment just because my backup is played again, played again sports. Uh, but otherwise, I don't pass. I usually don't pass them up anymore. If it's under a twenty dollars sale on eBay, because most of the time shipping of sports equipment is pretty heavy, uh, bulky, it can be. Um, I will pass it up if it's twenty or under. Usually, if it's easy to box up, I'll take a twenty dollars sale. All right, so the rest of the stuff I got, not too much. I did find another multiple. This is pretty much athletic wear, so it kind of falls in the same bucket of sports equipment. Sean says Prince. Yeah, Prince Rackets. Look those up. Uh, and Scott says ASD in five and a half months. Yes, they haven't opened up, reg have not opened up registration yet. So hopefully they will soon. All right, 
two hats, and I think someone mentioned hat in here. Uh, I found a Miller Lite racing hat, and I'm guessing this is Rusty Wallace, number two. Looks an older model, and it is Ford. I will list this high just because it's an older driver, and it is Chase Authentics. So if you usually, a rule of thumb Chase for, for me, Chase Authentics, I will pick it up. That's a, a better racing brand. But uh, Miller Lite, and especially the old style, the colors, that does pretty well. It is kind of dusty, so it looks like someone left it on their shelf. Uh, I do have an order in for hats or a hat cleaner. So you can see it's it's not uh, it's pretty good. So I had that coming in. I'm, I, uh, I ordered two. So get those in. I'm going to start using those. Pick this up. I thought the patch was cool, and it's pretty. It's again like someone didn't even maybe wore it once or twice, but I thought the patch was cool. Trucker hat with a freedom with an eagle on it, which is awesome. Trucker snap mesh hat. Uh, no idea what that brand is, but it says uh, it's probably Gordon Brothers. Darren or hat person. Anyone ever see that brand? Gordon Brothers. Or Gurin, maybe it's Gurin. There's no D. If I can speak correctly, but yeah, I like that. I like that thing uh, patch. It was pretty cool. Pretty thick patch too, which is nice. That I found another one of these. Now, I was surprised. Usually, I don't pick pick up compression shirts, but I sold the same exact model, same exact size for twenty four ninety something, sixty something, twenty five bucks. Let's say. Find another one of these, and it's a, a turtleneck compression gear. If you see the, uh, the uh, there's the tag. If you can find that, it's compression cold gear. And uh, I showed this in the last video, but here's your cold gear mock uh, logo there on the bottom right hand side. And this is awesome. So this is what gives it away. It has a kind of like a sticky. I, I say sticky. It's more like rubber. It makes it stick to you, so it stays. It doesn't roll up, which is awesome. So that, if I saw that, I'm like, oh, man, I found it. So this should last. Oh, and what was great was the listing. I sold it on September 20th. I just looked it up, uh, and it should sell pretty quickly. So all I did was sell similar. The pictures are the same. Uh, the, the logo is not even worn off. So I just sold similar. Same price. Grippy. That's what it is. Hey, Russ Raccoon. Made it tonight. Nice. Oh, yeah, Darren, great point. Baseball mitts. Uh, if you can find baseball mitts, again, look up the brand. I'm not too familiar with baseball mitt brands. I know certain leather ones. Uh, what's it, first baseman and catcher? Are those really the, the, the most expensive ones? Uh, so he says, baseball mitts are great. I just have trouble finding them. Hard to come by, but, yeah, they can be great profit. Profit. Uh, picked up another polo shirt. Polo shirts were scarce today. Only got one. Uh, Adidas. Adidas tends to do all right for me. Uh, another Memorial Tournament. If you guys remember Memorial Tournament around Ohio. Has some nice detailing on it. Uh, that's probably a sit. It might sell in a month or two. We'll see. Pac-Man says first base does well. Yeah, the specialized, usually those are the specialized, right? First baseman, catcher. Uh, I don't know if pitchers have specific pitching uh, uh, mitts. John, I have a Rawlings first base mitt listed with watchers. How much you're looking to get for it, Sean? Just curious. Win D list. Oh, uh, Scott, I'm guessing you meant relisting. What is better, relist or sell similar? Uh, I do sell similar just because it gives you a different model number or item number, and supposedly it's better for search rankings. It refreshes your listing, unless someone says otherwise. Now, if you had watchers on it, I think a relist is better because doesn't it alert your watchers that, hey, this item has been relisted? Uh, check in and buy it. That's is that I I'm, I'm guessing that's the difference. All right, here's my chance item of the day. Chance item of the day. Here we go. It is a Under Armour, and this is just a plain I say plain shirt, just a shirt, but what. Uh, why I took a chance on it was it's kind of thicker. It has that on the back, on the neck. And if you can find polo shirts, this is cold, cold black. Uh, it's a little thicker, a little warmer. Uh, I'm probably going to list this for $24.99 with best offer. 
Now you can see on the inside, this is what it looks like. Uh, if it were a plain t-shirt, I probably wouldn't pick it up, but since it is Under Armour and it's that specialized model, I'll give it a shot. Eric has a good point. Also, go to Facebook and Craigslist. Search and save what you're searching. When someone posts baseball bat for sale, you'll get notified. Or whatever item you're looking up. That's a great point. Oh, 50 bucks for the glove, Sean. That's great. $50 is a great sale, especially a baseball glove. Depending on the size, you could probably fit that in a padded flat rate. Uh, Rusty Raccoon says, vintage gloves sell great, especially if NOS with tags, hundreds of dollars. Five dollars at a garage sale, nice. Yeah, five to fifty. That's a that's an awesome uh, turn. All right, last thing I got is that the last thing? Yeah. And the last thing I got today. Uh, Scott sold four hard drives today. Awesome. Pick these up. I actually have a pair of these in in uh, orange, but they're NFL shorts. Again, logo shorts, the mesh, uh, and it is the best team uh, is the Browns. There's only one minor flaw in it, and there's a little white. Probably could come out. I might try and use a baby wipe or something on it. Yeah, it might come off. But there you go. Little mark on it. But other than that, there's the logo. It's a Reebok on field. Uh, I find a lot of Reebok on field jerseys. I pick them up. I always buy them. I'll sit on them. But when they do sell, it's it's a it's a lot killer, right? It kills your. It kills the uh, the amount of money you put into it, so it breaks you into the, the profit. I say lot killer. Cowboys. Cowboys got smoked last week. Dak needs to step it up. Uh, yeah, so there's the uh, the Browns ones. And again, any specialized tags, anything on shirts, anything like the Under Armour I showed you, definitely give them a second chance. Give them a look. Look them up before you leave the store. Um, but... Broncos. I'm surprised. I have a Broncos shirt, and everyone's been lowballing me on polo shirts. Uh, I go back and forth, but I have a nice Denver Broncos polo shirt. I wore it to work a couple times, but no one's buying it. Very hard finding nice items like Nike and choosing to sell them and not keep them. Yes. So I have my Boston Red Sox shorts that I loved. I found from the thrift store. I said, "Oh, no one will buy these," and I kept wearing them. Someone finally bought them. I, I'm not that sad I sold them, but I wish I would have kept them. They were Nike. I'm going to be a men's tie expert. Yeah, Eric has a ton of ties. You get, we'll we'll start need to start learning from you, Eric, about ties. Uh, Pac-Man, great. We'll we'll end it on this. How are you doing towards your goals? So, this is probably my best month ever. Um, I'll tell you about them, and then I'll show you on our goal show. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Cowboys need a full uh, full makeover. All right. So my numbers for the month so far. Uh, last month, I sold. Now, this is just thrifting. I sold 145 items. Currently, as of yesterday, uh, for the month of September, I have sold 172. And then uh, profit is $300 higher or $200 higher. Revenue. So last month I sold four thousand dollars gross. This month I sold four thousand four hundred. Uh, but I think my profit's a little lower just because I bought more this month. I bought a lot more this month, but still, still growing the numbers up. I've done my items have uh, definitely shot up. <laughs> so we will. Pacman, that's a great reminder. We will when we do the goal show. I show you my sheet. Show you what numbers I'm at. What's with these best offer, best offer low ballers? I have an item listed for 925. This guy sends me 300. I, I guess he's just shooting and just seeing if he can get you to bite. Pac-Man's close. Nice. But my, my 10K goal, I think I'm going to run that into next month because right now I'm sitting at, uh, what did I do? My sold items of 180. I'm almost there. Uh, listings at 1300. I'm at 1170. So hopefully, uh, hopefully when uh, my trip comes around by the end of the week, I hopefully can get there. We'll see. Got a lot of watchers on here. Columbia hat. Yeah, hopefully that sells, Darren. Columbia PFG hats, uh, jackets, polo shirts. I'll pick those up. So, yeah, constantly growing to Rusty Raccoon's point. 
Do more than what you did yesterday daily. You'll be on top of the mountain. That's right. Do more than you did like yesterday. Do a little, go a little bit extra than you did, right? If you listed two, list three the next day. Uh, set a daily goal for yourself and try to beat it. Uh, don't try to hit it. Always try to beat your goals. And put it a little out of reach. So, all right, guys. As Rusty Raccoon said, make yourself better today. Get some listings up, and we will talk to you tomorrow. See ya. Oh, yeah. And Eric, great point. Before we go, don't forget to have fun. and Remember why you're doing what you're doing. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.